Hello, I'm Zach here and welcome back to my channel and sorry for not uploading a video last week. I feel like a broken record to be saying this again, but things have been very busy. <laughs> I'll talk about that a bit more later in this video, but basically I have been frantically putting the files together for Zig's Journey, my illustrated storybook, so that I could uh, send them off to the printer. But now I finally got the time to go ahead and uh, edit this video. So for today's video, I figured I'd do another character insight thingy -maging. Uh The last one I did, which I'll have the, that video linked up in the card and in the description box, uh, was about Zig and Goo. And today's is about the first character Zig meets on his journey, and that is Yukio and his stuffed toy. <laughs> Yukio is 12 years old, but acts like he is 7. The first time Zig meets him, he accidentally scares the fluff out of Yukio because Yukio is a Cinnabon. He gets scared very easily and he's very, very chatty, even if the person he's chatting with uh, is mute like Zig. He don't care. His mouth just loves to run and run and run. Yukio is pretty much always seen carrying two items, his three-stringed ukulele and his purple stuffed toy. However, there's a lot of mystery surrounding the two items Yukio always carries because uh, despite him being a complete chatterbug, he never seems to bring up or mention anything about his stuffed toy and ukulele. But it is obvious that he is super attached and protective of them. Yukio is kind of that like sneakily mysterious character because he seems so open and bright uh, but when you really think about it, you really know very little about him. He really likes to keep his story uh, secrety secret. The history of Yukio as a character actually goes farther back than any other character in the book because Yukio was actually the very first character I drew in this cartoony style that all of the characters are drawn in. As a matter of fact, you could say he is responsible, I guess, for me having a cartoony style. If you guys have been following me for a while, then you know that uh, this style is actually a pretty recent creation for me. I started drawing this way sometime, I believe, in early June of this year, and it was all sparked from this sketch. I actually vividly remember sitting on my floor uh, in the middle of the night and I'm pretty sure I was actually thumbnailing the design for June. If you guys don't know, for 2018 I'm doing a monthly character series thingy uh, where I create a character every month and write a story for them. Well, I was designing June, uh, that character, and I was like, man, I am a little sick of only ever drawing in my anime manga style. As much as I love that style too, uh, I was having some art block and everything I was making seemed bland and repetitive and just the same. Uh, so I said, heck, let me just try something totally cartoony and different. So I drew up this Yuke boy, as I called him before, because I didn't have a name for him at the time. And uh, I really loved his design, and so I gave him a name. And some of you guys may remember that I've already drawn him as a subject for a couple of videos. And since then, I've just been really obsessed with drawing in this style. And the overall style has definitely evolved since that first sketch. You can definitely see the differences. I seem to have made uh, the exaggerated parts more exaggerated. The legs are even skinnier and longer, and the feet are even bigger, and the head shapes are simpler. But uh, that'll happen naturally from just drawing in the style for a while. But the original idea to even draw in this way was kind of a decision. It came from that sketch. Yukio's stuffed toy was actually also something that I had come up with a while before Zig's journey. Uh, and it was originally a pretty rough, vague idea I had that related to a song that I wrote where I felt like, sure, it could be about this Yuke boy and his stuffed toy thing that's also alive. It's, it was very ambiguous. Both of the characters didn't really have a story or even really a personality at this point because Yukio was just an OC. He didn't have a story or anything like that. But as Inktober started approaching, I originally had plans to have Yukio be the star, if you will, of Inktober. Uh, but I ended up tossing the idea when I realized that what I had in mind would be too much work and I didn't have enough time. 
little did I know that I'd actually end up writing and illustrating an entire book. You know, oops. But either way, the moment I came up with the idea for Zig's journey, I knew then that Yukio would have to be in it. Uh, even if it was just a cameo, of course he actually turned into an actual character, and uh, so I was finally able to really discover who Yukio is and give him an actual personality. And overall, he's just a really fun character to draw and write. His personality is just so cute. And I think he makes a good counterpart to Zig, who's always so quiet and calm. And since I know y'all are probably like, What? A song? Where's the song? <laughs> but, uh... I actually never really recorded it from beginning to end because... I don't know, I just... I just... I just... With that song, I feel like it's just never finished. And I don't completely like it. And I'm just like, oh, I'll tweak it later, and then I never do. <laughs> and even if I did, I'm not too sure I'd ever, like, release it because I'm insecure about my singing. Okay, moving on. This illustration is actually another one of the four prints that are included in the print and wallpaper perks for uh, the Indiegogo campaign, which is closed now, by the way. Big thank you yet again to everyone who contributed. We had a total of 70 backers, which is craziness. But yes, the last uh, print design that I did, or last print design that I showed, uh, was with Zig and Goo, uh, which was quite detailed. It had a background and lots of lines. Uh, but for this one, I wanted to go with something pretty simplistic and clean and cute. So I just had Yukio there playing his ukulele and his adorable stuffed toy looking up at him. I've had this image in my head actually for a long time, so it was really nice to finally get it out and draw it. So as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I have been very, very busy this past week and I'm still very, very busy. <laughs> FYI, if you ever plan on getting a book made and you've never done it before, prepare to be insanely busy for weeks and weeks and weeks. But things are going well. I've already had to deal with a bunch of unexpected difficulties and challenges, things I just completely didn't foresee. Uh, but. Things are going in the correct direction, and I'm happy and excited. I spent the entire last week putting together the files for the book so I could send them off to the printer. Had a bunch of difficulties there, and I also got sick, so that was fun. <laughs> and so now the book is uh, in the production phase, uh, if, if you can call it that. The actual like 100 books that I'm going to get printed are not in production yet because I am actually waiting for some proofs uh, to get back to me from the printer because I want to make sure that everything looks good and fresh and uh, if that all goes well, which it should, then the books will begin uh, official production. Ooh, exciting! And in the meantime, I am working on getting all of the digital perks sorted and put together so that it all looks good and so that I can send them out as soon as possible. But there are more difficulties and unexpected things even with those things, uh, such as me getting sick and losing my voice so I wasn't able to record the audiobook. I mean, of all the things, right? <laughs> but I'm good now. Zakir is back in the groove. Things are moving forward and I'm really excited to getting everything ready and sent out to everyone. If you are a backer, remember that I will continue to post updates on everything over on Indiegogo uh, on the same page that the campaign is on. Uh, also check your email because all of the updates automatically get sent out to everyone whenever I post them. And yeah, that'll do it for this week's video. Apologies again for not uploading last week. Next week's video should be going up on schedule and it's going to be another character insight, another character hue hue. So y'all can look forward to that. And thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss on upcoming videos. I make new videos every week, usually uploading on Sundays. But be sure to hit the little bell because I do sometimes upload away from that schedule. And if you'd like to follow me on social media, all the links to that are in the description box where you can follow me for daily updates. And until next time, stay awesome, stay inspired, always. See ya!